Hello everybody, it's Tommy! Right now I'm just looking at the collection of the sister location max that I've done. We have Ennard here, we got Ballora, we got Circus Baby and Funtime Foxy. Ennard was very well received, over 700,000 views, thank you so much for that. And Funtime Foxy is definitely getting a lot of attention. So this doesn't really surprise me because this one's got an articulated jaw, which means the jaw moves when your chin does. And I'm going to do the same thing for Funtime Freddy. We will be making an articulated jaw. So by the way, you guys, I have Ennard's eyebrows painted brown. Um, they're actually red, so I'm just going to fix that right now. There. They're red now, so that actually looks a lot nicer. The wait is over. Funtime Freddy is ready. So, you guys, if you're ready for Freddy, let's make Funtime Freddy, and then I will be making Bon Bon. Don't worry, I got the Bon Bon tutorial coming. You are watching Tommy's Puppet Lab. Please see the video description for all the materials you'll need and a video on safety. When using razor blades, always cut away from yourself and remember that they're very sharp. Please be careful. Same thing for hot glue guns. You can unburn yourself if you're not careful. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the part of the bottom off so that I can expose my chin. This is needed so that the articulated jaw works properly. To make the muzzle, you will need to scrunch two newspaper balls on the front at the bottom of the mask. Mix one part water, one part white glue, apply toilet paper or tissue paper on it, and paint on the glue mixture. You will now need to cut out two cardboard circles for the ears and two small rectangular strips so we can attach them. On the top of the mask, you will need to cut off two slots on each side of the mask. This is where we will be attaching the ears. Now, using a hot glue gun, Attach the rectangular strips to the circles. Now roll up your tissue paper and wrap it around the edge of the ears. This will give the ear some nice depth. Okay, the muzzle seems to be pretty small, so I'm going to just add a little more newspaper on top. Now crumble two newspaper balls and attach them to the side. These will be Funtime Freddy's cheeks. Now, if you want the head to look really nice, do what I'm doing. Flatten two newspaper pancakes on top of the head, like I'm doing right now.
Now with a sharpie, draw where you want to cut out the eye hole. Then use the cutout and trace over it on the other side so that both eyes look exactly the same. Now cut a gap in the middle of the muzzle. Crumble a small newspaper ball and put it in the middle of the muzzle. This will be the nose. The mask does not quite fit me because it is just a little bit too small so I'm going to cut open the back and then I will be resizing this. And now I'm just going to do some smoothing and some reshaping. Now with a sharpie, draw two eyebrows, cut them out, and attach them just above the eye holes. and now I'm just going to do some more reshaping. And now I have the cheeks a little too far back, so I'm going to move them ahead a little bit. I gotta be honest, I really did rush on those years, so I'm going to remake them so that they look really nice. And now that I'm happy with what it looks like, I'm going to cover it up. And now, scrunch a large newspaper egg 
and make sure that it fits under Funtime Freddy's mouth completely and then tape it up and cover it up. Make sure that one side is flat and it is in the shape of a bean. This is Funtime Freddy's lower jaw. Crumble two newspaper balls and attach them to the cheeks. And now I'm just reshaping the head up just a little bit. On a sheet of cardboard, use a roll of masking tape and trace around it. Then on the cutout, use the roll of masking tape and trace around on the inside, then cut it out. Cut a long strip of cardboard, then attach it to the large cutout, which now looks like a ring at this point. Now put the small cutout on the top, then cover it up in tissue paper or toilet paper and glue. Okay, you guys, so now now that's everything's all solid, you, this uh, hat should be nice and hard and solid and keeps its shape in the ears. So that's kind of how it, this, the, everything should feel when it's hard enough, so. And now I'm going to do some more smoothing and reattach the ears.
And now I'm going to make the ears just a little bit bigger and a little more deeper. So I'm going to add another layer of toilet paper around it and then put masking tape on it. This will actually give it a really nice shape. There, those ears look awesome now. Now we're going to cut a line on the lower jaw just like we did on the muzzle. Now cut out some little squares. Using the eight squares, attach them to the bottom of the muzzle. and now cover with glue and tissue or toilet paper. And now I'm going to seal the back of the mask again, but this time it's going to fit my head. When the glue has dried, you can cut the openings again with a knife. You can see where the gaps are very easily. On the lower jaw, trace where the teeth are on the upper jaw. Attach eight more teeth to the jaw. And now we are going to attach a strip of cardboard onto the lower jaw. This is so that we can attach this to our chin. I don't think I have the bottom jaw just right yet. I'm going to be making it wider.
Okay, everyone, that uh, about does it for the Fun Time Freddy here. So, you got the lower jaw, the attachment for the uh, band here, which I have, and then uh, All right, so first I'm going to do the white paint. This is from Funtime Foxy. So uh, I can reuse this because the colors are very much the same. And now I am going to use a light pink for the muzzle and the eye ring. Now I'm going to use a darker pink to paint the blush, the ears, and the eyebrows. I'm going to combine a pink and a light purple together. Next, we will be painting the nose black, and we will also be painting the top hat, as well as adding a purple band around it. I will also be painting on the face plates. Okay, so now he is ready for some gloss. So, now before I do that, I'm going to need, so I will be wearing safety glasses because uh, this finish can linger in the air and it can get into your eyes and cause irritation. So, it's a good idea to wear safety glasses. And I'm going to wear this because I don't have very good ventilation in here. Um, you open up a window or do it outside. If you don't have one of these, that will do just fine. Just make sure you have good ventilation. Okay, so what you want to do is that you want to glue this fabric band onto here 
and then you want to try it around you. You want the strap to be nice and snug. So, and then once you do that, and then after you do that, you're also going to put some hot glue on top of here, and then glue this on there, kind of like a sandwich. So, yeah. So I'm going to do that right now, and I'm going to try it on, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I just tried it around me, and now I know where to trim it. So, I'm just going to trim that. And then, it needs to go on here. Now hot glue a strip of cardboard on top of it, like a sandwich. To not make it too tight, you don't want to cut off your air supply, and second, uh, these things can snap on your face if you don't remove it carefully, so just take it off nice and slow. Use, the, use two hands to take them off. Otherwise, this thing can, uh, can actually just snap back on your face, so just be careful with that. Okay, so I tried it and it didn't really work the first time, so the best way to fix that is to cut off the cardboard end and we're going to stack it on top. Attach a piece of cardboard to the side and paint it silver, and it'll look like it's part of an endoskeleton. Pretty cool. So wear this mask. Simply, just remember, don't make this too tight, don't cut off your oxygen supply. If it's uncomfortable, take it off right away and make sure that it's nice and comfortable. You can, you can use it to your fullest comfort. That's very important. It's comfort. And when you're taking this off, just be very careful. This can snap on your face. Use both hands, just let it, yeah, just kind of slide it off. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy that. Craft safely. Remember, safety first. When using razor blades, always cut away from you. When using hot glue, be very careful not to burn yourself because you can if you're not careful. I hope you enjoyed the show. Now go make yourself a puppet friend.